Did you see the thing? I saw it the other day. ESPN posted it. When Mark Mcmaguire hit his 70th home run in whatever fucking year that was. Like was 2003 it? 2003 or yeah, something. Yeah, 2003. Hit his 70th home run. By the way, that's absurd. I know. The guy who caught it, the Cardinals offered him a bat, a signed jersey, and something else. And he's like, oh, but I also want to meet Mark McGuire. Probably a huge Cards fan. Yeah. Mark McGuire was like, nah. And then the guy sold it like three months later for $3 million in see, 2003. See, that's why I would never give anything back to an athlete that was worth something. Yo, $3 million in 2003. Holy shit. Yeah. For nothing. That's wild. For catching a home if I run caught, ball. If I caught anything record-breaking and they came to me, I'd be like, dude, don't even come to me with that. Either he's buying it for me or I'm selling it. Peace. What if you caught it and Jeter jogged from the plate to the outfield and was like, yo, can I get that? I'm saying no. Damn. Yeah. In front of the whole stadium. In front of the whole stadium I'm saying no. And the no. world, the yeah. TV. You're like, I'm good. I'm good. Damn. Because I'm looking at it like this. If this really means that much to you, you'll pay what you want to pay for it. I'm out here in the bleachers, dude. This ball can change my life. Yeah. This ball, if you get it back, is just to boost another thing that goes on your mantle. It's true. Of all your other amazing accomplishments that I will never accomplish, yep. including being that rich. Mm-hmm. So let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. What's the least amount of money you would take for a 70th home run ball? Because that was uh, uh, the record, right? Yeah. I would take like a million dollars. <laughs> oh. The least because you know it, no one's ever done it before. All right, this all right, Jeter's three thousandth hit, which yeah. was a home run. Mm -hmm. How much money are you asking? Well, how much are you settling for? If he comes to you, he's like, "Yo, I'll give you two hundred grand for it." Easily. Okay, so you're it's way less than a million dollars. Yeah, but it's what if he two hundred thousand dollars? What if he says seventy five grand? Is, which is doo doo sh shit to him. Two hundred k. What about seventy five grand? No, because I know on the market someone's gonna want to buy that ball. So what's the least? Hundred? I would say like one fifty would probably be the lowest I would let it go for. One fifty k. Yeah, cash. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Not claiming that. Yeah, like I want Jeter to show up, fucking pop the briefcase open. Here, give me my ball. Because, listen, I'm a, you know me, I'm a diehard Yankee fan. This is why this is surprising. Yeah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> About anything. That guy would not know who I was if that ball did not land on my face. Yeah. And in my stomach and in my hands. Yeah. Okay. The only reason this man is talking to me and giving me a fraction of his time is because he accomplished something and wants the ball back. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit about the memories you made for me. I don't give a shit about any of that. It comes down to the dollars. Would you give it back to Jeets? I'd have to talk to a lot of people. Yeah. I'm not just going on a whim that day just being like, hey, man, just a huge Yankee fan. Just happy to be part of the Yankee family. I'd be like, yo, this is what we're doing. You're giving me this. I do think And so. I want season tickets for the rest of my life. I want 200K well, what and if, season tickets for the rest of my life that I can hand down to my children. Right. Other than that, I'm going to sell it. See ya. And you can buy it back from them for way more. I th you I th are in the one, the rarest bargaining positions of all time. Yeah, you are. I just feel like, I, I do feel like if I caught it and this dude like comes to the fucking wall, it's like, yo, can I get that in front of everyone? I figure I'd bitch out and toss it. No fucking way. First of all, as soon as I catch that thing, I'm getting out of the stadium. Yeah, you have to. I'm, I'm going to a cop and I'm being like, yo, please get me out of here. Please get That's me what they here. do though. Yeah. They do that because they know this person's going to get robbed. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I need to get out of here. Please. Get me out of here. Give Jeets my number. Let's go sit down. Do let's, let's make a deal. Do you think they'll ever put something in place where the baseball isn't yours? They used to do that with basketballs. I know basketballs in the NBA, like if they kick it into the stands. You can't keep you, it. You can't keep it. They still don't. Yeah, they, they, you have to give it back. You have to give it back. And then football, I think they used to do that too. They but, got rid of that. But I they think. got, but they got rid of that. No, no, no. Well, if they throw it into Cam, the crowd, didn't they give Cam a hard time for doing this? I'll give it to the little kids. No, the kids take them. But they take them. Yeah. 
Dude, they, do you remember that one guy on Monday Night Football? Because baseball, you see how many fucking baseballs they waste the game? Yeah. The thing, like, touches one piece of the grass, they fucking throw that shit away. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So you would, you would give it back? I don't know. You can't, dude. You talk about a life-changing opportunity there. I just feel like as, like... Seth- I'd rather Derek Jeter think I'm a douche and be rich than have him not who, know who I was. Did you keep your high school helmet? Yes. Me too. I stole it. But like imagine some someone took it and was just like, yo, you give me fucking 500 bucks for it. You'd be like, suck my ass. Yeah, I'd be like, this helmet sucks. <laughs> no, but I, you'd be like, yo, fuck you. Like, why are you being like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but nobody took it. You hit it to me. <sighs> I could see if I remember when some a year, year years how and years and years though? ago. But how would they, you feel though? If you hit a record breaking thing, you worked your entire life. Oh, so now life. I'm cheater. Yeah, you worked your entire life. To get to this point, mm-hmm. and yo, honestly, at a certain point, especially when you're a professional athlete, money isn't the thing at it's all. A, it's like I am, I was a kid and I wanted to do this stuff, and now I'm one of the greatest. And I hit this ball, and some guy's like, yo, 250K. It's like, bro, I earned this. My whole life was dedicated to that ball, and you're not going to give it to me. That's how I look at it. And then I look at it like this my father spent his hard earned money. For me to come to these games. I've been coming to these games since this. I've been a dedicated fan since I was fucking... Since I, I was born in the Bronx. Dude, that's not the same. It's not it's the same? It's not the same? No. So so me, fans don't make a difference. Not you personally. I'm just saying. If I catch the ball now, I do. I don't know. I'm etched in Yankee fucking history after that. I I don't know. I just... I just it's very you, simple. If it's, I'm Jeter... I want I want that ball. Okay. Look at Sabathia the other day. What? He hit a guy and lost $500,000. What does that have to do with anything? Money's not a problem. There's money's not an issue. Exactly. You're going to get the ball back. But that's what I'm saying. Why are you going to fucking you're fucking, you know what I'm saying? Help me help you. It's not help me help me. I fucking worked for this. Okay. And you didn't Yo, are you really going to compare me hitting 3,000 fucking hits to you showing up to a fucking game? No, I'm talking about the money. Isn't a isn't a problem. It's not, it, ain't, it ain't no problem. It's the it ain't no, it's the it ain't principle. No it's the principle. I don't give a shit about principles. That's where we're di- that's where we differ. Yeah, but you're gonna give it to him to be like, that story is cool until a guy like me asks you, why didn't you get money for it? Because you gotta get the money for it. I'm negotiating a deal. Just like you got that fifteen percent. What if what if Jeter? If just like you got that fifty percent on that couch. We're talking. What if Jeter came to you and he gave you this whole story about how much it meant to him? I'd be like, yo, that's awesome. I would love to like not have to worry about my rent for like five years. I feel you. I feel I, I get both sides. The Yankees honest. make a billion dollars a year. I it's not about you just you keep saying the money and then you keep saying it's not about the money. To them, it's not about the money. They don't worry about money. I worry about money. It's the principle to them. It's like this this fucking guy's gonna hold on to this now? Yeah. I I would be mad if I was the player. Be mad at me then. All Wouldn't right. be the first person that's mad at me. That's all I'm saying. I would be like, yo, fuck this guy. Yeah, of course. All right. That's what I'm saying. All I'm right. saying think about it from that guy's point of view. If it's me, like, because money is not a thing, only this matters to me. Mm-hmm. This is my entire life. How much does it matter to you? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, that's fucking scumbag, though. I really don't think it is. I do. See, Mark McGuire was a scumbag. Yeah, he's like, I don't want to meet the guy. And the guy sold it for the good on him. Good. Everyone should take that guy's lead. I can't. I don't know. I don't Jeter, Jeter don't care about me. It's not about caring. I don't need him to fucking kiss me. And I don't care about how hard you work to get here. That's bad. Why? Because. Why? Because as someone who's If I'm in sports, a position to, to get money off of a ball... What's the worst thing that happened? Oh, Derek Jeter's feelings got hurt. Yeah. Oh, no. That's how I feel. <laughs> That's it. Your feelings, you'll get over it. I'm t- well, this is all I'm saying. I understand if, where you're If I worked from. my entire, like, as an athlete, if I worked my entire life to get to a certain point and I did something historic, some guy's like, I'm not giving it to you. To me, in my eyes, it's like, yo, I earned that ball. Right. Like, I, I, I dedicate my entire life. To, I earned that ball and you're holding out because you want money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't, I don't agree with that. 
So you would give it to, you you would without a doubt just go here you go Jeets thanks for everything not a, not without a doubt but if <laughs> if he if he personally if he personally asked me and was just like and he told and he said exactly what I said I I've, I'm of course giving him that ball if we it, I would be like let's go to dinner and talk about it then woo me woo me yeah no then don't woo, buy it woo me then don't buy it. Then don't buy it. We're different. Guess what? Somebody else is gonna buy it. That's fine. We we're different. Woo me. Yeah. Who the fuck do you think you are? Woo me. You're coming up here asking me, talking to me. You wouldn't be talking to me if I didn't have this ball. If you wanted this ball so bad, make it a regular hit. Don't hit it a home run. So it's about the you, money to you. Fucking superstar. Yes. All right. It's all about money. I I don't know. I can't. Dude, I've seen you negotiate deals. Yeah. Not one part of you is going to be like, I'm just going to give this ball back. Do not sit on the other side of that table if something, and tell me that if, you're going to do that. So, if something means the world to somebody and they express that to me, I can't. I don't have it in me to be like, I don't care. I'm selling it to some other mm-hmm. asshole. I, I can't. That's where we differ. Yeah, it is. I just can't. If if The, the reason why I said it, not without a doubt I'm giving it back to him if he like sent somebody to be like, go get that ball, I'd be like, nah. Or I'd be like, he's gonna have to like ask me for it. Yeah. Like I want you to tell me. You know what I'm saying? But if it was just like some usher. Well, that's what I meant by woo me. You said take me out to dinner. Yeah. Woo me. Yeah. As if you're fucking, fucking the president. Yeah. No. You only have so many you, opportunities in life to to be in that position. No. I f- I feel like. And this is where I know we're different. Only one person in that equation earned that ball. Okay. That's it. I did nothing. If I catch it, I did nothing. I paid to catch it. Congratulations. You want your ticket money back? No. I want season tickets. Take that. Season tickets? But, yeah. For the rest of my life? Yeah. I would think about that. If you give, if you give like Jeter's story, like you're saying it, and the Yankees are like, we'll give you season tickets for the rest of your life. We'll think about that. No, you wouldn't. I want the money. Yeah, you do. Especially after you just told me a guy made $3.2 million. Yeah. You'd be nuts. That's life-changing money. It's 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 life changing it's, money. It's the principle. I don't know. It 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 it, it doesn't sit it, it it hurts me. It hurts me. It does. It does. It hurts me. What? Just because I would never like if that happened to me, I would be devastated. But Knowing that I'm coming into the season and I have a chance to hit three thousand hits. Yeah, but you can get it back. It's not like it's not like I'm like sending you like videos of like like the Joker in the Dark Knight like hanging people upside down like oh I'm dropping an acid. Let's fucking write me a check. Write you a check. Write me a check. See, but that's the point. I want that ball, but I don't have to spend five hundred thousand dollars to get it. Then sorry. All right. Mr. Cheater. If it was Mark McGuire, I'm getting that three million. Fuck Mark McGuire. But it's Derek Cheater. That's the difference though. If it was some other team, I don't give a fuck. I don't I'm not a friend of your team. Let me ask you a question. What? Were you more of a Mets fan or a Yankee fan growing up? Yankee fan. So anyone on the Mets, I wouldn't care. Nobody. Mike Piazza. You would, you would make him pay. Yeah. So it's just you got to think for Jeets. No. Well, well, yeah. All right. It's you're bi- de- you're, it's bi- Derek you're biased. Jeter, you're biased a little. It's de- but no, of course. I'm a fan of this team, and this is Derek Jeter. A-Rod then. Seven, if he hit 700th home run, you caught it. What year is it? <laughs> <laughs> How many years into this Yankee contract are we in? It's true. I don't know, man. The the Derek Jeter example is the one I'm giving because it's like, yo, this dude was baseball and he was New York. Yeah. Like, he's the captain. Yeah. And it's like, this guy is the guy. I've met him before. I'm saying, it's the guy. You know? I mean, it's very brief. But I met him. Just saying. That's that's what I'm saying. Because I'm thinking about it. If if I'm an athlete and, and I know how much little accolades like that not little, but like things like that mean to you as an athlete, right? The money just comes with it. Like I dedicated my entire life, made no money for so long mm-hmm. because I love this game. And then the th- I get paid 
And it's like, whatever, that comes with the territory and, you know, whatever, you're a great player. But to be historic, mm-hmm. you really have to care. And if I hit this, I I I care about it so much. I know. You're going to make me pay for it. I just, I can't do it. But technically, by the rules, if it gets hit out there, I can keep it. Yeah, you can keep it. It would be one thing if you wanted to keep it. Yeah, maybe I would. You I, wouldn't and you know it. I wouldn't sell it immediately. Yeah, I would you that would. should appreciate. No, you wouldn't. See, I, but the, if it's one thing if you keep it. Like, I, I'd rather keep this. That's different. But if you're like, I'm getting money. For, like, it's, it's, I, I just can't. And maybe that's dumb. That is dumb. It's 100% dumb. Most people would not do that. Most people would not just give it back. Yeah. Yeah, of course, because they have brains. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. You're supposed dumb. to be a good negotiator. No wonder you only got 50% on that couch. It's not about being a negotiator. Still, yeah, sap story about our kids or some shit. No. You could have got that extra 5%. It's not about being a negotiator, because that is a negotiation to me. I didn't earn this. We're opening up terms. And I'm not buying anything. Supply and demand. You got, I got something you want. Let's talk. Let's at least talk about it. You know what happened? Someone kicked a kickball into your yard, and you're making them pay for it. Fuck yeah! That is not how the world works. That that kickball. That's a terrible, terrible analogy. Why? Because who is this? The well, great, the greatest kickball player of all time. It's kicks in it my yard. Here? It's not my it's yard. In my yard now. It's so not, it's it's not my yard. You tell me the Yankees wouldn't pay me to get it back? Not Jeter himself. No. Why would they pay you for it? They don't care. Why do they care? Oh, they, gonna be gone. they care. Why would they care? What are they going to do with it? It means nothing to the Yankees. It means something to Derek Jeter. That's it. So when the Cardinals came over, who offered them that stuff? Not Mark McGuire. The Cardinals offered him that. For yeah, the ball. bat and shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking They're not going to pay $200,000 for it. Silliness. Why would the Cardinals pay $200,000 for that ball? They don't give a fuck. Mark McGuire's going to be here and gone. I think the Yankees would have paid for it because it was Jeter. No. And do what with it? Give it back to him. Why would they do that? Because. Why not? Because he's on his way out. Please. No one cares. It's fucking cheats, dude. No. Oh, oh, now it's cheats. I'm just telling you. I'm going to your. I'm going to your side of it. Whatever. All right. Make a deal. Make a deal. Make a deal. 